Come on, ladies. It's never been a more challenging, sometimes frustrating time to be an egg farmer. Avian influenza killed some 44 million egg-laying hens in the U.S. in 2022, and it's not stopped spreading. The costs of doing business were already climbing well before that, fueled by the pandemic. And then came the conflict in Ukraine, considered one of the breadbaskets of the world. Ukraine is a huge wheat producer and grain commodity grain producer. A major source of animal feed. The wheat that they were producing is going to have to be bought from somewhere else, and ultimately it's going to trickle down to the United States you know, grain markets. The fighting in Ukraine has had a trickle-down effect on the overall U.S. economy. Raising energy prices, what rideshare drivers pay at the gasoline pump. It certainly it does have an impact on me. Contributing to what Americans pay for a whole host of different items. The U.S. closed out 2022 with an annual inflation rate of 6.5%. This was the fastest I've seen everything go up at once. Food costs, which jumped 9.9% in 2022, have jolted people in particular. For some of these other categories like energy and food, it's just been a hard three to five years for American consumers because they thought they knew what normal was. Agricultural economist Don Filmany says it is the grain markets that have especially felt the effects of the conflict in Ukraine. Wheat is a very small percentage of the cost of a pound of pasta or a loaf of bread or a box of cereal. So I think you're, you just haven't seen the wheat become quite as visible to consumers. I think producers are seeing it a lot. I think consumers are not. One expert points out the inflationary wheels were already in motion in this country by the time hostilities in Ukraine broke out a year ago. That had already started to grow up much prior to uh, February 2022 or even December 2021. Now, even as inflation finally begins to subside, consumers continue to feel the financial pinch in places like liquor stores, where they've spent a little extra in recent years. I think that's starting to slow down a little bit as people might have to be a little more uh, cost conscious and making choices about what they buy and it doesn't help when grocery items are skyrocketing every time you go into the grocery store. Eggs were 70 percent more expensive in January than they were the year before, but that trend may be slowing down. We have definitely have seen a pretty significant decrease in cost per dozen since Christmas and most of us think that's just as much driven by demand as by supply coming back online. Whatever the forces at play, producers and consumers continue to watch their wallets or their chickens during this uncertain moment. Hendrick Sabrandi, CGTN, Denver.